Hi, my name is Carrie Cottle, and I'm a kindergarten and first grade teacher in Petaluma, California. Today I found out that it is very likely that I might not be able to see my students again in person for the rest of this year, and I thought it might be comforting for them to see their teacher at home, like the rest of them, um, reading books. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, every day and that we have shelter in place in order, I'm going to read my students a book. And since we are in the, the time of the interwebs, I'm happy to share these stories with uh, lots of different children. So I hope you uh, like and share and um, get to sit back and relax and listen to the voice of a teacher. Today I'm going to start with something that is very dear to me. It's a book called In My Heart. It's by Molly Bang, who is a wonderful friend and author and illustrator. And I can't wait to share this story with you. Looking carefully at this page is a picture of a child with their cat and their daddy. And it looks like someone is leaving right there. And if you look really carefully and deal with my lighting, you can kind of see her leaving out the, out the door. You know how every morning I put on my shoes and coat, kiss you goodbye and walk out the door? Well, just as I'm leaving, I feel something in my heart. I look inside, what do you think I find? You, right here in my heart. When I'm standing with other people waiting for the bus and when I'm sitting by myself reading the paper and when I take off my coat begin doing my work you're in my heart plenty of room for you in here and when I'm talking or eating or writing or watching or when I'm just listening to the sounds all around me you are still in my heart right here I can't go any place without you And when you, yes, it's your turn now, when you put on your mittens and your coat, and when you stand with other people waiting for the bus, and when you're talking or eating or playing or watching, you're in my heart then too, all the time. But what about when you're singing or painting or throwing a ball? Or when you're building a castle or sitting on the potty or when you're lying down listening to the sounds all around you? How about then? Mm-hmm, you got it. Still here in my heart. When we're apart, I miss you. But then, I look inside my heart, see you sitting there, and hello, happy. Happy jumps right back in my front door. You're with me in the worst weather too, when it's pouring rain and the wind is blowing so hard, that all the umbrellas turn inside out, or when it's as hot and dry as a desert at high noon. Or when it's so dark and cold that even penguins and polar bears hide their heads inside their chests and shiver. lying here all snug inside me, smiling your smile and asking, how's the weather out there? And I smile back and say, it's fine. It's just beautiful. But when I come back home, ah! 
later when you've had your bath and put on your pajamas and brushed your teeth and are lying toasty warm in bed and when you've finally fallen fast asleep even then do you know what you are still inside my heart how do you do that always being in my heart and you know what else guess who's always in that great big heart of yours Who is in your heart when you close your eyes or when you go somewhere else or when you're stuck in one place and can't see everyone that you want to see and you think who do who do you have in your heart guess what they're still there whether I'm your teacher and you're missing me or your classmates or people who live far away or maybe just across town and you can't go see them they're still with you in your heart and all of you are in my heart as well my own students and really any human who watches this video, you're in my heart. Take care and stay healthy.